What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2 and today we received update 9.1. This is a pretty good sizable patch. Uh, there's a lot of patch notes. I will link these down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself. But let's go ahead and hop right into these patch notes and kind of talk about what was changed in update 9.1. It said certain NPC status effects were too strong. Uh, they are adjusting their damage uh, to players overall. These changes also affect PvP status effect damage. Reduce the damage caused to players by the burn status effect and reduce damage caused to players by the bleed status effect. Uh, certain NPC weapons dealt significantly more damage than others, so they reduced the damage to out of cover accuracy of SMGs used by the Red Bar Hyena Assault players, reduce the range of the Cleaner's Tank Flamethrower, uh, nerf the Hyena's RC cars by reducing the damage to the explosion, the ground fire from elite car explosions, also the burn confusion status effect applied by the RC car explosion and reduced how often hyena cars are deployed. Also they nerfed the black tusk suicide drones by reducing the damage of black tusk suicide drone explosions, also how often the suicide drones are deployed. They also fixed an issue where NPC players could throw a firefly variant which did an excessive amount of damage to players. The next thing was grenade throw accuracy nerfs for NPCs. They, renew, uh, they reduced the grenade accuracy with distance to targets and also reduced accuracy of hyena thrower, airburst, black tusk, mini tank grenades, and cleaner turret napalm airburst. Uh, when it comes to NPC blind fire accuracy, those have also been nerfed by reducing how accurate NPCs are while blind firing. Uh, also, no longer blind fire with a shotgun or a sniper rifle and tank archetypes no longer blind fire their weapons as well. Uh, NPC aggression, they reduce the frequency and aggressiveness of NPC behaviors to advanced on hidden targets, players who have not been exposed for a long duration, fixed prolonged aggressive circular, uh, circling, circling excuse me, caused by some NPCs, reaction to targets behind uh, certain areas, Fix some status effect reactions, which could cause non-tank NPCs to pass towards players aggressively. Further lowered likelihood of tank archetypes to rush toward players, hives, turrets to stomp them. Adjusted status effect reaction priorities to fix issue that allowed ensnared NPCs to still move if blind or burned. Uh, ability nerfs for NPCs, black tusk support station tuning. Uh, the support station no longer heals mechanical NPCs and the support station no longer heals uh, destructible props. Legendary version of the support station now checks a line of sight as it is healing. Also, armor kits no longer completely heal bounties and other bosses. Note, hunters still heal completely. Uh, when it comes to player buffs, so this is your character, uh, buffed player skill survivability, reduced how much damage uh, player skills take from NPCs. They also increase damage caused to NPCs by bleed, poison, and napalm in snare status effects. Also buffed in cover blind fire for players, reduce the size of the player's hitbox. Uh, when it comes to the store, the instant season level unlocks, players are now unable uh, to purchase instant season level unlocks. A level can now be purchased for 100 premium credits in this season, considering this season that we are in right now is about to end. Also, there were several bug fixes that was in this update. The bug fixes included things like improvements for FPS drops in the dark zone, uh, issues that could cause NPCs for the Saturn Manhunt and Gold King bounties to spawn past the closed gate. Players being able to enter the technolog uh, technological laboratory in Kenley College, which is annoying if you have been doing that in the last few days. Once you get to that part, you notice you have to sit there and roll and roll and roll in the door to be able to pull that one panel. Fixed an issue uh, causing players to be unable to uh, remove the recommended activity projects from the HUD. Fixed an issue causing the friendly oxidizer chem launcher skill to cause damage to a friendly player. Also fixed an issue that causes doors not to open during the breakthrough on the Black Tusk forces. Fixed an issue that caused several bosses to spawn in the Pathway Park main mission. Also fixed an issue that could cause enemy NPCs to spawn out of the air during open world activities. And fixed an issue that could cause two buttons to have the same function when engaging in a global event and having a GE award available. There were a couple other bug fixes, but those were the main ones that I wanted to let you guys know about. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know you, what you think about these patch notes. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. 
If you have a chance, make sure you share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.